Hi, my name is Nick, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use chat during a video meeting. Um, there are a few ways that you can actually go ahead and do this. Uh, I'm going to kind of go through as many of these different methods as possible with you guys. So as always, if you do find this video useful and informative, do go ahead and click that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, and with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams and have a look about how to use the chat feature uh, while in a video meeting. Okay, so here we are just inside that office guy's general channel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my calendar uh, and I'm going to go ahead and click on a new meet now meeting. Um, so with this meeting, I'm just going to call it meeting with myself here. Uh, I'll deactivate uh, the camera and the microphone because I just do not need to use them in this example. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on join now. So this is I'm going to start a completely blank meeting um, just with myself as the organizer and I can obviously invite people in if I would like to using the participants pane. I'm just going to give that a close though because I do not need to, to do that currently. Now the other thing to bear in mind is depending on your uh, version of Microsoft Teams here, I am using the new meeting experience so I have the pop-up a little window here for the video meeting itself, okay? And that means it floats uh, outside of the Microsoft Teams application and I can use the Microsoft Teams application independently of the video meeting happening. Okay, so if this is not currently uh, installed uh, and you haven't got the update you know, activated, then do go ahead and check out how to do that in my uh, other video uh, on the channel here of how to use the new meeting experience um, because it does kind of make everything a little bit easier for you. Okay, so with that said, obviously um, you know, at the top here, we have the participants pane, but next to that is the show conversation. So if I give that a click, this opens up the chat feed uh, within the video meeting that lets you continue to chat to all of the participants um, during the meeting. Okay, so this is this is like the first way you could go about using the chat feed inside Microsoft Teams. Uh, so you can obviously do this directly inside the video meeting. You do not need to leave the video meeting in order to use the chat feature. So for example, I can just type into here and say here is a test, okay, uh, and I can return that. So now you can see that uh, not only have I started the meeting, um, but I've also written a, a message into that particular meeting as well. And, and obviously I can close that down uh, and wait for the next messages to come through. I can bring it back at any moment just clicking on the show conversations button. And again with this you have a lot of functionality, so I can say uh, another test here. Uh, and actually just grab that, highlight it, and actually you know choose a color to highlight it. So I can make it green like that and send that through. And now we have uh, you know lots of different fun things that we can do. Uh, and obviously in the same way that we have a lot of chat functions, uh, you know in general, a lot of that is carried over here. So you know uh, yet another test, um, and this time I can set the delivery status as really important. Uh, so I get that important tag, uh, and I can send that in, and you know we have another really important message just going directly into uh, that chat feed, right? So lots of different things that we can do in order to kind of like build up uh, a bit of engagement uh, using the built-in chat feature within the video meeting. But there are other ways of doing this, okay? So for example, um, if I go over um, outside of this uh, video meeting, just go over into Microsoft Teams and go to the chat section. From here, um, there is a meeting um, and all of your uh, chat feeds that you've been having in that meeting are included. So um, that is this one just here. And we can see that this is the, the messages that I just sent whilst inside the meeting, which is also still happening by the way. Okay, um, so this particular chat feed uh, also includes you know, any files that you share, any meeting notes, the whiteboard, all of that kind of stuff is contained within this one chat feed from the chat section. Uh, and again, like most other kind of chat meetings here, you can pin this. Uh, so all your meetings can be pinned if you would like them to. Or if you wanted to just filter this down, you could filter to just meeting messages. And you can see that two meetings here that I have, I can then find them very quickly using the filter option, okay? And fortunately in this domain, I haven't got many uh, chat feeds, so I can just click straight to the one I need. 
but a useful feature nonetheless. Um, and again, from here, I can also click on the join button, which will take me straight back to the video meeting. Um, so I don't have to worry about minimized windows, trying to find the right window. I can come and go as needed. Okay, so I'm gonna minimize that again, again, and you can see it's down here, and I can minimize it completely out of the way. Now, the other thing to just bear in mind is that this chat feed uh, in, in your chat section is always going to be there even when the video meeting is not going on. So in, our, in other words, you know, you can still be talking to all of the participants about the meeting after the meeting's actually happened. So it's another great way to kind of um, you know, ask questions and find out things as you're going through a meeting, but also then be able to go back and check that after the meeting's actually happened um, without the need of actually having to record the meeting itself. Um, although sometimes it's actually easier and more efficient to call the, uh, record the meeting uh, anyway. But uh, nonetheless, you do have that chat feed um, directly from the chat section as well as inside the video meeting itself. Okay, and obviously you can attach, uh, add attachments into this chat feed uh, from your OneDrive or from your computer. Um, so again, if I click on one, uh, OneDrive here, it's going to load up uh, an example uh, that I did the other week. I can attach that and send in that Excel document, right? Um, and you know, if I just move that to the side, you can see in the background here in that chat meeting, it's also come through here. Everything is completely in sync together. Um, so you know, we straight away you can see files that you share, uh, you have all your chat messages, etc., all in one uh, place. And um, so if I go over to the file section, um, you can see any uh, files that you want to share can be added here uh, as well as uh, inside the chat feed. Uh, so again, you know, you have the ability to do various different things with those files that you are sharing. Um, and again, it's really quick and easy to be able to flick between the two of these. I personally, uh, depending on how many participants you have, uh, prefer to use the participants uh, chat feed here uh, inside the video meeting. Um, however, sometimes uh, if there's so many people inside the meeting, uh, you know, you don't want to basically limit the real estate uh, of the of the video meeting. You know, if it's in gallery view or whatever, then actually, you know, you might want to have two monitors going on and have your chat feeds on one monitor, your video meeting on the other, uh, and that way you get the best of both worlds. Um, so lots of different ways to utilize this uh, effectively um, for however you plan to actually utilize this feature. Um, but it is important to kind of get your head around. And, um, you know how the chat meeting works um, with chat itself right so the video meeting with chat because it's completely in sync together this chat feed is this chat feed and um, you know if I were to respond to that you know you would see it over here instantaneously as well and um, so there's no real lag and delay between them um, if whatever works for you ultimately uh, those are the way that you know you might want to go about doing this um, but the chat feature itself is incredibly powerful uh, and if I go ahead and end this meeting and um, for absolutely everyone involved um, you know the chat feed still exists here and it's the very first thing that gets opened after you actually exit um, out of that video meeting right so um, you know, straight away you can also go ahead and ask more questions. I can ask more questions uh, if I need to just here and that gets you know pulled straight away uh, through into into the meeting and again if I wanted to start this meeting again I could go ahead and join it. Uh, I'll just mute that join this again uh, and come back to this chat feed uh, and again now you have all of that chat feed even the stuff that happens outside of the video meeting getting pulled into the next meeting as well um, so really important to to understand how the chat is so dynamically linked with the particular meeting uh, that you're having and um, so this way it, you know you can kind of keep all of your notes and everything together all in one place uh, using Microsoft Teams uh, chat files meeting notes and whiteboard um, it's an incredibly powerful feature um, and guys it, you know it's something relatively simple as well that you can use um, and just start messing around with uh, and the more you use it the more you'll get comfortable with how it works um, and ultimately you know, you'll be in and out of uh, your chat feeds uh, your, and your video meetings um, even outside of the actual meeting taking place as well. So hopefully guys you found this useful. If you did then do go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel um, and hopefully um, you know, you'll know you find this feature incredibly useful and powerful. Um, and with that said I hope I catch you in the next one and um, have a great day.